All right, folks, this video, top 10 exercises I couldn't live without. So I will probably go beyond what my top 10 is. I just want to show you the top 10, and then we'll we'll talk about the other stuff. All right, so bench press-wise, um, I'd love to say, you know, if this was a big list, I would have to do, you know, decline, incline, and, and flat, um, and then close grip. But uh, the reality is that... We're going to pick uh, one of those for sure that I'm going to fit in, and that would be decline bench press. Uh, that's actually, you know, probably my my favorite. And make it Olympic barbell. Um, yeah, you know, I don't feel like I want to jack my back up doing that, um, like you might do if you start bridging too much for heavy weights. And I don't feel the same strain across the abdominal area when doing really heavy weight. Um, the other thing is it, you know, well, until I had this little issue with my uh, lower part of my trap where it connects to the shoulder area, um, it was easier on my shoulder to do uh, decline. All right. So from there, folks, you know, if we're talking just getting overall uh, big upper body, Hammer strength, and we could do this with a dumbbell or a T-bar row, but hammer strength, plate loaded row, okay? Absolutely love that machine. Now, military press seated barbell. That would be number three. All right. Uh, honestly, to keep the core strong, to do this stuff, I would then say life fitness, ab machine, selectorized plate. All right. And you can find those at all kinds of gyms to include Planet Fitness. Now, um, I guess we should do something for the legs, even though I'm not going to see a whole lot of legs on here. I do, I do four, four leg exercises, well, okay, three leg exercises, the both hip machines, the um, glute machine, and hip thrusters, right? So, but most of those I would just drop off. So what do I have to have? Not deadlifts, but um, leg press, all right? You can get big legs with the leg press. Um, plate loaded, right? So like the hammer strength one. Matter of fact, well, actually, I think it's the life fitness one that I've been using nowadays. Or hammer strength. That would be good. Okay, so we're halfway there. Um, getting back to the chest, you know, I got to have my inclined bench press. Um... You know, just working the, the bottom part of the chest is going to leave the top part not looking that great. So we have that. Um, now we're going to, we're going to skip doing a second back exercise. Um, shoulder, lat, raises, and either the machine or dumbbells. Uh, we'll just put dumbbells because... I'm not going to have the, the machine in the house. Um, so what else? Probably going to have to let our uh, our neck go bye-bye. Um, our forearms. So the bicep, though, um, you know, how big can your biceps get off of by just doing back exercises? I've... Maybe I should try that. Not do any biceps. Just do back twice a week. Um, so for bicep, either it would be either hammer curls or um, let's see, super curl barbell. Um, so one of those two, because I think honestly, the way the one is bent, 
it's probably working the same part of the bicep. And it might might be easier for me to actually just do dumbbells. Um, but yeah, uh, one of those two. I'm you know, I would have to pick one or the other. I'm probably gonna pick hammer curls because I did go a whole year with just doing those and no other bicep exercise. Ah, uh, what else? Man, I already actually went through this one time and it didn't record. So here we are doing this again. Um, so legs, we're only doing the leg press. That's pretty sad. One core exercise. Shoulders, we got, we got one back exercise. We've got two chest exercises. So many exercises I like doing. We got two, two chest, two shoulders, one back, one core. Dang, folks. Every week I work out. Our triceps. I'm going to say V bar, tricep, push down or pull down, press down, whatever, however you want to. Got to have that, right? That's, you know, you could put skull crushers on there. So, what else, folks? What else? This is a tough one. I don't, I wouldn't want my neck to go away, but, um, you know, really we don't have anything that's really going to work our traps really good. So, um, to have a really good upper body, whoops, to have a really good upper body, we got to do shoulder shrugs. Now, that, that would be my top 10, folks. Um, the neck would get a little smaller except at the base. But I think this is I think this is a solid list for my top 10 exercises I couldn't live without. Now, um, if we go back to my other list, so I don't have to retype this. And we'll just look at uh, the bottom five. What almost made it. So then we would go lat pull down. If we really want to get a good V taper, we'd we really need that, but it's just not making it into the list. Um, deadlift, you know, which hits so many muscles. You know, it's, if it wasn't for I have a, my back bugs me, um, I probably would have kept that on there, but I could live without doing it again. Some kind of forearm exercise, um, hammer strength neck machine, or some other types of neck exercises. Hip thrusters, who doesn't, you know, like a tight butt, right? Um, and then really leg extension, leg curl, and, and we still say screw the calf muscles. Um, they're, you know, for me, they're big enough, but. And, you know, eventually there'd be all those other exercises, but those are my, that's my top, uh, my top 10, folks. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.